What is up, Chico's a Cuban Collector here, and we are live from Miami, and it is Sunday night, and I'm gonna do this, this quick little video a response before I hit La Cama. So this is for Modern Vintage Collector. He wants to know if do we have any regrets either cards or in memorabilia day we had a move from our collection that we kind of regret now and the answer is yes i do i do have a couple i wrote some down i took some notes so we're gonna start with aaron roger his well it's one of his rookie cards which at the end of the video, I'm going to put pictures from the internet of all of the items on my head. So, I purchased a box back in like 05, 06 around there. I forgot the date. But it was from my local at Kmart. That's where I used to buy most of of uh, my cards before even going online and to shop I used to go always to Kmart which now that Kmart is gone just like it Toys R Us is gone so I pulled that card at myself and I actually I sold it after he won the Super Bowl and I was amazed um, the price is sold. It sold for as how many bucks? And I was like, "Whoa, that's a lot for a card." And I was already kind of out of the hobby. I wasn't even telling cards, but I just I decided to put it up on eBay to see what happens. And it sold on auction. So that's my first regret, because. He is going to be a Hall of Famer, and and I love to uh, collect a uh, Hall of Fame a uh, rookie cards. I think just like everybody else. So my second thing, um, I purchased from eBay a uh, years back. It was from a company called a. Uh, TriStar uh, Hidden Gems and their uh, mini helmets. They were going on eBay for 50 bucks and I purchased uh, two of them and both of them came back as uh, the same player and uh, the other had a bonus uh, player. So that guy, I spoke to it with a Scani tradition and he knows about the story I told him. So it was a Bart Star autograph and mini helmet, which Bart Star he does not assign anymore, and his autographs are going up. So the first one it was from his college in Alabama, I believe it. He went to yeah Alabama. Um, it was autographed, and it said um a road tide. That's what I remember. And the second box I opened, it was also from Bart Starr. And it was on the Packers. And on the other side, it had Paul Horning on it. Signed as well. And it even had the a Hall of Fame inscription on both of them. So that's two of them that I regret. And... Another one I regret too. I bought some eight by tens. It was from as well from the same company of Tribe Store, and I kind of forgot the name of the player, but he was a Hall of Famer, and he played for the Cowboys. If I remember his name, I'm gonna put a picture. And then the last item I kind of regret it was my first ever item that I won in a contest. 
This was at my local at Walgreens had a contest for a, a Ronnie Brown autographed 8x10 picture. And uh, you know those little like booklets that they have that like you tear it out and then you gotta put uh, your name, information, and you have to email it out to them. Well, I did that. And around a year later, I received a, a cardboard envelope. And it was the 8x10 and it said congratulations that you won. So I think I was the only one that participated in that contest. So that I actually sold that as well and I was out of the hobby. So yeah, so we're at 6 minutes. So just to keep it short, congratulations because you have now um, my 100 subs. You're just gonna keep growing and keep going up after that, bro. Um, and the same thing it happened to me. I started with a zero and then I just started growing. So guys, go and check him out. I'm gonna be dropping the link below. And don't forget, guys, to stay humble and stay positive. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.